Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So today, Angel, yes sir. How far is moon from Earth? Just a minute. Okay, it is about two lakhs thirty thousand eight hundred and fifty-five miles. Nowadays, we can get answer to any question in seconds that are in the palm of our hands. But how is this possible? So in this video, we will learn how Google search works. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Suppose you want to know how fried rice is made and you search for fried rice in Google. This is how the search results looks like. The search results appear in different kind of way. It shows you recipes, cooking videos, websites, nutrition facts, etc. Where did these results come from and why are some websites listed above others? Let's see how Google turn your queries into search results. The first thing you need to know is that when you search something, Google isn't actually searching the entire internet to give you the answer. This is because there are over a billion websites on the internet and hundred more than being created every single minute. So if Google had to look through every single website to find the one you wanted, it would take a lot of time. So to make your search faster, Google constantly scans the web in advance to record the information that might help you with your search later. Back when Google search was made, Google has been scanning the web, which simply means that Google was looking through millions of web pages to create a giant library that contains the thing that you search for. So in that way, when you search about fried rice, Google already has an information to give you an answer in a second. Internet is a huge collection of web pages that are connected to each other by hyperlinks. And hyperlinks are simply links that when clicked goes to another web page. Google constantly runs a program called Spider that crawls through these web pages to collect information about them. Each time it finds a hyperlink, it follows it until it has visited every pages it can find on the entire internet. This is called crawling. For each page the spider visit, it stores any information that might need for a search by adding it into a special storage space called index. And this is the library mentioned earlier. Now let's come back to our fried rice search and see how Google shows us with those specific search results. When you search for fried rice, Google looks into each of those words in the search index to immediately get a list of all the pages on the internet containing the two words fried and rice. But just looking for these two words could show you millions of pages. So Google needs to be able to determine the best matches to show you first. Do you know that Google actually guesses what you are searching for even before you finish typing. Also Google gives you the right search result even when the spelling is wrong. And this is done with the help of search algorithm. Search algorithm is used to rank a website based on what Google thinks you are searching for. Google's ranking algorithm might check if the word you are searching for shows up in the web page title, it might check if all of the words shows up next to each other or any number of other calculations that helps it better determine which page you will want to see and which you want. Since web pages often make money when you visit it, spammers are constantly trying to find ways to use the search algorithm so that their pages are listed higher in the results. Google constantly updates its algorithm to prevent fake and untrustworthy sites from reaching the top. Google search is always evolving to improve the algorithm to give us the better search results. Today, Google search even use information that you haven't provided to help you get what you are searching for. So for example, if you did a search for restaurants near you, 
you will get the location of restaurants that are actually near you. Even though you didn't type in your location, Google search is now so advanced that it can understand not just the word that you are searching for but the meaning of the word so that it can provide you with better search results. To understand the words better, Google uses something called machine learning which is actually a type of artificial intelligence. We will tell you more about machine learning in another video. What it does is that it enables search algorithm to search out not just individual letters or words in the page but understand the underlying meaning of the words. Let's have a recap. Every time you search for something in Google, the search algorithm analyzes the meaning of the word in your search, matches them to the contents in the web, understand what content is most likely to be helpful and reliable to you and automatically puts it together in a neatly organized page to indicate you the info you need in less than a second. Okay, that was a lot of information, right? Did you know that Google is a search engine and there are similar search engines like Bing which works exactly like Google search? Well, that's all for today. If you have any doubts regarding this section, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.